Hello, Mac Warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Battletech Advance 3062. Guys, uh, we have arrived at the new planet in Clan Space, and I want to quickly take a look at the missions that we have available here. We are currently in a two skull scenario, which also, you know, gives us a bit of higher skull missions. Two and a half, to be more specific here. Uh, we got a two skull urban battle. Um, with two out of nine salvage only. Okay, this is one of those missions where you get an elite mech warrior, right? No? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, it seems dangerous. We've got amb ambush convoy in the highlands against Jade Falcon. Ooh, getting some, some nice weapon parts here would be great. And then there's escort, there's assassination, urban, urban, urban. So everything is urban. I'm going to start with the ambush convoy in the highlands, though, because I like those. And we also get a good chunk of salvage out of this. However, we got to wait for the trap to be ready because I want those LRMs on the board. Ooh. I'm not going to get involved here. Oh, Medusa is getting an injury, which is okay. Medusa is not even uh, um, a main part of our main alpha lands. Hey, boss. Just completed those upgrades. Alrighty, so now we got plus three tech points and we can actually carry more mechs with us, which is really cool. Trebuchet is ready. And now we got Artemis LRM40 on this thing. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be really cool. We gotta be careful with it because it's running a double XL engine. So one side also pops and the mech is down. However, let's get into it. Let's play a rolling metal with, again, all the salvage that we can muster because... We want to we wanna get space rich. Let's do it. Technically, I could buy another tank and have another tank pilot with me since I have the slots. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should think about it. Because the more... Oh, the e Wait, again. Rolling back that sentence. Try again. <laughs> um, the... The... <laughs> The, the quicker I start uh, putting mech warriors on the, on the battlefield, the more experience they will get. So it's an investment into the long run. So getting the mech warriors on the battlefield right now, or the vehicle warriors, is going to be good. I should do that. Each mission without full lance is uh, a little, little bit of waste experience-wise. So let's see. We're coming in. I hope hot. It would be really bad if you drop somewhere where we have to follow up and, and kind of try to catch up with the with the convoy. So this is their denial zone. This is where they are, right? Oh no, this is where they are, so we're gonna catch yeah, we're gonna catch up here. So let's get into it. Um the cicada is gonna make a flank. The adder as well. And the carrier? The carrier is gonna take the road. Confirmed. I don't think it will be fast enough to actually get here, but the enemies will be at here at some point, and I think this is where we're gonna use the carrier then. I cannot wait to see how good our Artemis missiles are gonna work. This is gonna be really cool. We get plus one um, accuracy and then ad additional plus three when we have direct line of sight. This should be amazing. Which also means that I shouldn't use the trebuchet to, good to go. go all in, like point blank anymore? I don't know. On my Primary target on screen, Commander. Here they are. So using the road gives us extra Follow mobility. Away. Therefore, I'm gonna take that. These guys are gonna try to attract fire, being here in the forest, and the other guys are just going straight ahead. Alright, we're gonna reserve this. By the way, the main vehicles, they have a doctrine of always moving. They will not wait and reserve. When it's their turn, they're gonna go. Got a bunch of mechs as escorts. Alright. Let's wait it out. Oh, here comes a bandit. Hello, bandit. Yeah, don't you dare hitting me. Good news is that we can actually go for a kick attack with our cicada, I hope. Um, Commander? Sure, let's check it out. Oh, wait, that's the adder. We have a pretty bad hit chance. I'm gonna reserve this. Or we're gonna wait. Ready for we're gonna try that, right? That's a thing that we always do. Let's go with the kick here. Maybe we can destroy the first tank. Primary target is damaged. That's a primary even. We didn't completely destroy it, but we definitely put a dent into it. All right. Also, did we take his evasion away? The opponent, oh my god. 
The problem that I'm seeing right now, by the way, is that those guys bring hover tanks on an uh, ambush convoy mission. We need to take them out before they can get away. So, Adder, how good are you with a kick attack? 5%. Yes, that's what I thought. Cool. We try to get behind it. Because this is where it's damaged already. Come on, give me two evasion. That's three. Yep. I'm walking. I here. will take it. And here it comes. Damn it. Could have killed here, but we didn't. Well then. Let's see what else we got. At the very least, we got some slower vehicles, so we can actually deal with those fast movers quickly and then follow up against those guys. Waiting for orders. Hmm. I think I want to stay on target. Let's stay on our prime objective. Targeting enemy backside. We got an engine crit. It's not done yet. Want some more, huh? So I think the the important watching? thing is that we're gonna take Geezer now, and he's got he's definitely gonna seal the deal. Sixty nine and sixty three percent. I love it. Uh, shoot everything even. I think so. We gotta confirm that kill. By the way, is it still true that if you destroy half of the convoy's forces, that reinforcements will show up? I don't know. This is risky. I'll take it, though. It's the only reasonable thing that the Hunchback can do. We got a Cheetah. We got a Vargar APC. Hmm. The Vargar is not really dangerous. We got a Kid Fox as well as a Thorn... Really want to go for the cheetah, but the hit chance is garbage. Giving him everything I've got. All right, got some damage in. So. Standing by. Man, I really hope I can get the carrier in. All right. Before those guys have passed the crossing here. All right, we're done. That's a Shrek. That's a triple PPC carrier. Waiting for orders. Okay. By the way, what's what's my hit chance here? It's pretty bad. I could move up here and hit that thing. Help out against the other guys by just sprinting like crazy. Uh sure, I'll do it. Primitive. Let's go. You my friend, you have a lot of accuracy. And you have a lot of damage. Confirmed. These APCs actually bring a lot of armor. Man. It's crazy. Standing by. So, Cicada is going to go for another kick attack because that's what it is made for. Affirmative. Come on, give him hell. Gaging. Please. Yeah, nice. 60 damage. I see red numbers and I like it. Taking heat damage. Ah, the heat from fire. All right. I'm taking damage. I don't think that the adder is gonna hit. No, you're really bad at melee. Why are you doing this? Seriously. Are you shooting? I hear ya. Not even that. Confirmed. Yeah, it's time to actually get the Epona down before it runs away. I don't want to play catch with it. Fun time. Artemis, baby. I love it. So good. So much for that, little guy. Nice. So what's next? I see you're going for my hunchback, but my hunchback will retaliate. It might even be able to go for a uh, kick attack Standing here. By. It is able to go for a kick attack here. The Ultra Auto Cannon jammed at that point. I mean, that makes it pretty clear what we are doing. We're just going melee. Because it's the attack. most damage that we can deal this round. It's unfortunate, really. Right, take that, Adder. Auto cannon unjammed. Um, we have our Bushwhacker as the last guy here. You, you guys have real bad melee. Wait, what? No, headshot. What? I'm Why? <laughs> what? This guy was coming in, and RNG Jesus was completely with him today. Wow. Insane. Got it. So, Deca is bleeding out again. 
It's just the story of his life. Commencing alpha strike. I wanted to actually put some SRM6s here, Another clan SRM6s in the mech. But hey, we got the adder down, ADMs are gone, and it has a low initiative next round. That's good. Huh. Now, Decker, what now? I don't know. Uh, the Hunchback actually got hit hard. And it lost its evade. No, it still has its evasion, so it's still three. Not great, but good enough. Comes the Kid Fox. Yikes. It hurts. Barely hit, Commander. Uh huh. Yes, Commander. My SRMs have no target. I. Th oh, God. Do I intercept here? Or do I follow my plan going into the crossroads? I might need to go up here. Let's see. That's the heavy tank. Oof. That is rough. You got a Gauss rifle as well? Alright. What about the Shrek? Triple peeps coming in. Not shooting anything. I have the feeling I need to take the Shrek down in this round right now before it can do anything. Damn it! What? It really hurts us. We're really in a very tough situation here. Okay. What now? Adder. I mean, I could go all in against the Akichita using my Battle Lord ability. I could hit the Adder that's on the ground. I could go for the Shrek. I could try to take the Kid Fox. There's so many options. Is the Kid Fox at. Yeah, it is a threat. I'm gonna Hello. do that. Hello, I'm here, right behind you. Going battle lord, right in your butt, and we shoot him. Firing all weapons. It's a calculated risk I'm taking, overheating. But I wanted that kill. Farewell, sweet prince. It's holding. It's fine. Alright. Good. So luckily the bushwhacker gets attacked from the other side, so no big deal. The problem is the flames. That's the thing I don't like right yeah. now. Oh, that would be a charge attack that I don't value right now. Cannot support here? Not really. Are we just going in and ping all of this? This might be a thing. Since we are pretty hot right now, I'm just gonna use my active probe to scramble the enemy sensors. Kind of, uh... Hello? What? What? I can't... Wait, what? I wanted to make a defensive move now. I'm not able to. What is going on? Active probe, please! I'm clicking it like a madman. So something's not working. Huh. Well then. I'm not gonna overheat, do I? Will I? I don't know. Firing. That was bad. That was a wasted turn off the cicada. That was really bad. Huh. Couldn't use my active probe. I don't know why. Error is getting up. Still, I think I want the Shrek down. Ready to rock. So Decker has Ready one forward. job right now. <laughs> bleeding out, right? <sighs> Getting the cheetah down. Getting the adder down, the thorn. Cheetah is difficult. Can I use Battle Lord in conjunction with a kick? I hope so. Seems like it. Alright, we're gonna dance around him. Got it. Locked on for physical. Yeah, attack. just kicking that chin. <laughs> Cool. And then Critical boom. Hit, I love that. Oh yes. The ultra auto cannon. So good. So damn good. Target eliminated. We gotta be quick with the kills here. We got four turns until Decca bleeds out. Again. It's the Vaga dropping some missiles, I don't care. Uh, the problem that I'm seeing right now is the Bushwaka being hot in the forest. Huh. What can I do for you? So the idea is to go up against that guy. That guy being the Shrek. Shreks don't have much armor. 
Also, let's take four evasion if we can. Sprinting. All right, I want to take this thing down now. Let's do a precision strike. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. It is not a kill, but we have geezer. Man, it feels so bad dropping all of the missiles that we have available here on one single tank that is about to die anyway. Oh, I hate that, but okay. Let's also use a precision strike here. Come on, tech warriors. It's go time. Actually, I should have used Vigilance. I, I, I just invalidated my argument. Since I had so much firepower. Alright, it's fair. Cool. Next Try round, please. Next time. See what you Commander? Oh no, we still got this guy. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. So I have two options here, actually. I could either just straight up hit the adder, or I go for the thorn in the back and try to get some stray shots against the adder, which is almost dead anyway, uh, and hit both of them at the same time. But I think I'm just going to finish the job here. The last three shots are normal. So we grind through the armor with acid. And then that. Hey, we got him. Destroyed. Cool. Tank in the forest that's burning is not good, by the way, because it will take heat damage. Also, the, the thorn... Yeah, okay, fine. Could have gone for a melee attack. It's a battle mech, therefore... It has some melee capacity. So, nothing bad happened. Orders. Nothing bad happened. So, where is the initiative now? We have... We have the Vargar. Cool. I think we won. Right? I mean, can we shoot anything here? Like anything at all? Can shoot the flamer. Put one in the back. Take that, mister. Damage is damage. Good to go. Alrighty, a behemoth. I think I want to try to kill the Oro. Let's see if that's possible. Let's do it exactly like that. Got it. Hit on the left side. All right. Well, that was okay. So the Vaga can have another turn. I don't care about it, really. It's just some machine guns and an LRM. The important thing here is, dancing around this guy, oh, I wish I could kick him again. But only from the front, which is also good enough for me. I'm rolling. I might hit the side again. Engaging target. I did hit the side again. Yeah, that's a kill then, right? Critical hit. There's more, more than, yeah. No way. Really? Like that? Waiting for orders. All right, I didn't see that coming. This might be a charge, just to get something done. I could just. Oh God! Wait! 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 So first of all, we need to finish this tank, right? Affirmative. That's gonna be priority. Um, I'm not keen on killing myself, so I'm not gonna shoot every everything. Tell me what to shoot. But that was enough. Alrighty, so two enemies on the board. On the one is a tank, one is a mech, and I want the mech on. Should I charge him? That could be very bad for us. I'm gonna go vigilance on this. Let's do this. Let's go. And I will charge him. Let's see how this goes. We got our good old battle fists. Oh, the fists are not help yeah, not helping because it's a charge attack, not a punch attack. But we made it. Yeah, he's dead. I'm here. Got it. Full Got speed, it. No target. Yes, let's go with the precision strike. Oh please. Come on, tech warriors. It's go time. Time to bug out. 
We made it. Get to the LZ for extraction. Hell yeah. That was a good mission. That was really fun to play. And we also got a good chunk of good salvage on the board. Man, there is more adders and, and more weapon systems, actually. Hmm. Let's check it out. Is there a way to actually get endo steel in one of your mechs that don't have endo steel from the from the get-go? I don't know. <laughs> Decker out of action again. Damn it, man. Damn it. Ah, uh, but the tank is coming through. I really like that thing. One part of an adder. Uh, hmm. One part of a kid fox. ER large lasers. Clan ER PPCs. Those guys are interesting. More pulse lasers. That I'm not really using. We got some streak LRMs and SRMs. Streak uh, SRM2s. Not really interested in that. A clan guardian ECM might be a thing that I want. It's just a plus one against being hit. And that's a flat bonus. It might be worth it. I could just pick ATM ammo and make an ATM build happen. So I'm going to take a, a Guardian ECM. That's for sure. Is there anything I need? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Gauss rifles are valuable at the very least. They are 1.5 mil. ERPPCs are similar. I could make a Gauss PPC build and make it a real long ranger. Hmm. Or I just pick more Edda and, and Arctic Cheetah and Kid Fox parts because they sell for a lot of money. Let's go with that. Cool. We also got some random salvage. ER Large Laser, ER Medium Laser Clan, Medium Laser, Medium Pulse Clan, Micro Pulse Clan, Small Pulse Clan, Streak 5, Streak 6. Um, this LLRM 5 can go. Omni Lower, whatever. LRMs and some Streak LRMs as well. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not using Streak LRMs because I don't think that they are worth the investment. They are so heavy comparatively and I don't like that. Sure, you get a bit of benefit out of it, having more accuracy. But the tonnage investment is too heavy for me. I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, I want to see if we can actually build another mech, maybe. Get some more weapon systems and actually get our mechs that we have in a, in a very good shape. Cool. Mech warriors are gaining experience. This is all so good. Ha! <laughs> so, Medusa injured, Decker injured, Wedge injured. Mm-hmm. You know what we need? We need more beds. Let's buy some beds. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. That makes a lot of sense here. Also, Mech Bay. I do want the Cougar to be up and running, and I think I, I want the Cougar to be the Mech that the Adder is right now. Also, cool running at six bonus heat sinking, effectively two standard heat sinks. I like that affinity more than the thing that we have on the Adder right now. So, let me see. The build of the Adder currently is advanced targeting computer. We got two heavy lasers and a total of 14 heat sinks. Eight on the engine. All right. And then we got two here and four here. So yeah, we got we got that. So 14 heat sinks. I'm gonna try to make something happen with my friend, the Cougar. Take everything out of here. Actually, do I have to take everything out? I think I just need the heavy lasers. We have all the other things lying around. Actually, not quite. All right. So let's see. Right. Job's done. Alrighty, so I want that cougar to be good. Let me see if I can make that happen. We got that lower Omni. Also, we got some fixed heat sinks here. So we got 10 already. 7 on the engine. 3 are fixed. Wait, did we have 14 or did we have 16 earlier? There is a chance that we also have fixed heat sinks here and I didn't see that. Yeah, there were fixed heat sinks. So 16. Got it. I figured it out. Also, the cool thing is that the adder has a flamer that I rarely use. This thing doesn't have that, so we can just build. Cool, cool, cool. Max the armor. That's the thing that we need. And now we're going to add those, hopefully, heavy lasers. Where are they? On the arms, which gives us extra accuracy. 
they also might fall off a bit more often, but okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's get some cooling on. Oh, here we go. So we have 10. This is the amount of cooling that we had on the adder before. You can see where we are going with this, right? The mech is significantly slower. I know. But, um, so it will not generate that much evasion. Uh, but we can put something like a Guardian ECM in the mech to have it a little bit more defensive. And... Do we need hands? It's just punch accuracy. No, we are not even going melee, right? No, it's negative 30 melee accuracy base. We are not doing that. However, I can now put more uh, more heat sinking, more cooling in the mech. We have two more clan double heat sinks on the adder that gives us or gets us to 34.5. Alright. 34.5. Let me think about it. Do I want a small laser on top of that? Or do I... Oh, no. I can actually... Hear me out, guys. I can put a light tag on this. So, the remaining parts of the mech are just two heat sinks. And... There's a thing. Uh, where is it? It's in a fire control system advanced, so we get breaching shot. And that's it. That is our build. So two more heat sinks and we are good to go. Again, this mech is just the better variant if you are... Um, if you don't care about mobility so much. So the Cougar is slower. It will be a bit more of a struggle to get into position and we will not generate so much evasion. But still, it's good. Now, that being said, the Adder has no cooling anymore, technically. However, it comes with a double heat sink kit installed in the engine or installed in the mech. Which means we can then put something that doesn't um, doesn't take so much or doesn't generate so much heat and put it in the mech. We have a base heat sinking of 60, which is amazing. That means we can easily easily just drop 80 amps here, like that six and that two. That's good. Or we may yeah no 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 that's good. That's just. Okay, we can also put LRMs in there, and we have no heat management problems whatsoever. So it's either 18 ATMs, like this. We're not using our heat capacity to its full extent, though. And that's the thing that I usually don't like. So when we quickly sketch out the build, uh, we can see we got some extended range ammo and some high explosive ammo. We need two bins of high explosive. Um, I could now add a, another flamer, technically. There we go. If we go, if we go super point blank with the high explosives anyway, we might as well go for some short range weapons. We still have a minimum distance. It's negative 50 to all range brackets. Wait a second. Which means that our minimum distance is going to be 60 meters. What's that? It's 60 optimal. <sighs> Flamers are weird here. But I think in general I want to make a build happen like that, so like maybe even three flamers, drop a bit of armor. Something like that. And we are good with uh, heat management, so this is a thing that I would consider a build. And it only takes us one day. I want to try it. Yeah, let's go. Drop a bit of armor here, drop a bit of armor from the legs again, and we are up to, what, 65? Head armor can go down a little bit as well. No, I'm not feeling comfortable. Let's get center torso. Streamline it to down to 70 or 75, respectively. Um, the other thing that I could do is... Um, not small pulse. I need e like ER smalls or something. That would actually synergize quite nicely. But again, since we have that weird head flamer there, I might as well go a little bit more on the heat... Um, uh, on the heat side here. You know what I mean? It's weird. It's like really weird. But hey, we got our adder up and running in one day. There we go. I, Our nest egg is just about gone. I know Darius, we are fine. So, again, the last two things that we're gonna add is two more heat sinks and then we are good to go. Let's put them in the legs. Is, is it one more heat sink? Did I horribly miscalculate? I did horribly miscalculate. But still, we have now... 17. That's one more heat sink than we had before. We are also running a Guardian ECM and... 
that's it. And we have the arms, so it is better. I could drop the Guardian for more heat management, but I like the defense since we are not relying on mobility so much anymore. So that's the thing that the Kuga is going to take. Alrighty. So we need another mission. That work order you submitted is complete. Stop it here. We have a bunch of injured people, which means we actually have to go to the barracks and see who we can Commander. take to replace the people. Waiting for orders. Alright, Behemoth, where do you want to go? I wanted her to be a melee pilot at some point. But right now, gunnery is more... Is it more important? Yeah, it is more important. Accuracy at mid-range? Yes, Training please. Uh, to go. Corsair. Nope. Your Cyanide wants that tier 10 thing? Definitely. So we are not doing anything with him right now. Geezer can get a little bit more gunnery. That's nice. That's really good. Commander? Glitch is also waiting for gunnery 9, I believe. No, wait. If we go over here, we get plus one hit defense. I like that. Mech yes. Let's be a bit more defensive. Waiting for orders. Ah, pizza. Very good. So you are a vehicle pilot. Side slip. Action. For a single turn, the tank's movement ignores all terrain bonuses or penalties, letting it move through any terrain or landmines without issue. All right, that's pretty good. Intensify firepower. Cannot be used if you have moved this turn. Uh, intentionally pillbox the tank, losing all ability to move, and in exchange gain 30% bonus damage? <laughs> all right, but not on a carrier? I mean, we might have better tanks later. That sounds cool as hell. Perfect targeting. Requires vehicle crew. Uh, tank crew is able to use their increased knowledge of targeting systems to accurately target anything, letting them ignore two evasion. At all times. Like, all times. That's really insane. I love going on the gunnery path. Overwhelming aggression, the, pang, uh, the tank crew, uh, such master of the tank that they can squeeze extra firepower out of the guns, gaining a 20% flat bonus to damage with every attack. I mean, imagine something later on uh, a long term or something on a, like an arrow carrier or something like that. Just that flat, crazy bonus. I would love that. Anyway, what do we get here? Side slip, we already see that. Um, brute force, supercharges tank movement, gaining 6 meters, 60 meters of extra speed at the cost of damage of the tank structure. Okay, no thank you. Don't want to damage my own tanks. Spotter, targeting spotting systems to transmit better movement, paths to an ally unit, granting that unit increased movement speed. Uh-huh. Interesting. Extra movement speed applied to another friendly? That's cool. Redundant components, passive the tank crew things ahead and brought backup components. Reducing the tank's vulnerability to criticals, I don't care. We got Street Racer, tank's crew is able to... Incredible mastery of the machine, blah blah, dodge incoming fire. All damage taken reduced by 20% at all times, that's nice. And hull down cannot be used as an action if you have moved this turn. Intentionally pillbox the tanks, losing the ability to move. In exchange to take 90% reduced damage from all sources until the end of your turn. That's insane. That's really cool. But I like the gunnery path more so far. Sensor sweep. Uh, performance sensor sweep. 350 meters. There's a 5 round cooldown. So it's basically like a sweep. Like an act active probe. It's quite a um, small radius though. Target painting. Blah blah blah. Allied to gain a plus 3 hit chance against the target for 2 turns. It's just a target laser. Okay. And this is command. Special onboard command and control electronics. Unit serves as a land coordinator, improving all allied unit initiative by one. I'm gonna take... Intensify firepower, right? 30% extra damage. Seems like a good idea. Who cares about multi-target on a tank anyway, right? We're gonna intensify here. Oh, I love that. I love that icon. So good. Um, I mean, technically, we just need, like, tactics, right? Maybe, yeah, we're gonna do that. Straight Maybe we just go down the gunnery path very aggressively. Anyway, Giza's here. Fine. You're here. Fine. Pizza's yes, here. Fine. So, we need, we need another mech warrior. All of the people are injured. That's not good. 
Let's get Seek and Destroy going. Sure, we have a bit of time today. The question is, do I go all in with the money? Never. No, we are playing against clans right now. All of the stuff is going to be so damn valuable. Also, Adder, goodbye. Kuga, hello. Can technically run the Adder. Can I? Give me a second. Lance is ready. But Decker is not. That's so interesting. Yeah, we have we are we are beyond our tonnage uh, we are beneath our tonnage limit still. That means we have another mech ready. And a good one as well. Uh, but we don't have enough mech warriors to field all of this here, so Adder is gonna stay at home. And Corsair, oh boy. You're gonna just step in here. That's alright. Let's do it. By the way, we will never get the affinity of the Kuga, I think. We need 15 consecutive, not consecutive, but we need 15 deployments on a single mech with the pilot that we have right now. And I don't think that we will keep the adder after 15 deployments, right? We will have better mechs by then. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, not the adder, the Kuga. Sorry. <laughs> Derp. You know what I mean. So, we have Cyanide, who really wants to train on the Kuga, but I don't know if we will get there. If we will get to the 15. Omnimax are actually quite good. You know what? I like him. Because you could see it only took us one day to refit them. They are so easy to build. That's insane. So they cost a little bit, but they're really good. Anyway, seek and destroy in urban environment. Urban environment means that there might be a lot of jump jetting included. A lot of people trying to get to the high ground, especially those like arctic cheetahs and stuff. So we gotta look out for an opportunity to get them down by destroying the building. Alrighty, let's go. Command interface initiated. Here we are. Where are our enemies? Right in front of us. Alright, let's push. Moving out. I got you. All right. Roger oh, my that. tank is all the way down here? Oh, that's bad. However, our Kuga can still get seven evasion by sprinting, which is insanely good. No I love it. I don't think that the tank is gonna make anything happen here, but hey, let's try. Coordinates received. So, enemy turn. Yeah, right over here on the other side of the battlefield. Got it. <laughs> so it will take a lot of time to actually get to actually get there. Well then, I guess we gotta find a ram. On my way. <laughs> oh boy, crazy. Aye, aye. Yeah, the cougar is gonna just not move. Hey, you know what? The tank is there. <laughs> it has caught up. What? Wait, what is that? There's a Saladin in... what? Ambush! ER Large Laser Streak SRMs on the Chevalier. And a freaking Saladin coming out of nowhere. They will be done. Well then, I guess I have a target now. I'm That's insane! Alright. He's down. That's good. <laughs> Holy that crap a one for the junkyard. I was not prepared for that. That's good to know. Alright, what's the Chevalier gonna do? Might go in the back of my Kuga, might attack my tank. But there is more stuff happening in turn 8 on the other side of the battlefield, right here. You see, there's a lot of movement. Alright. Here comes the chaff. Uh, by the way, I still uh, I need to quickly go over here and do that. All right, cool. Sorry for that. Yes, Commander. All righty. So we're gonna try to take that tank, ideally with a kick attack, because that's what we are here for. Doesn't have so much armor, so we should be fine. I honestly expected a kill here. 
fine. Didn't get it. I hear ya. Uh, sure. I always want to stay in motion. I want to keep pushing. I want to get to the front line quickly. Take this. I still haven't put my SRM6 clan into my bushwhacker. That's a thing that I also need to take care of. Always forget it. It's just such, such a minor upgrade. It's not really relevant or necessary, but... I should probably do it at some point. Skipper. Alright. I'm gonna preserve some ammunition. We will just shoot our medium lasers into this. It will die eventually. Ready for orders. Can I kick? I cannot. No, this is nah, this is not good. This is a charge attack. So our ultra auto cannon has a real bad hit chance. Engaging. Maybe I should have shot. Still got my carrier. Might 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 as well dump some ammo in here. All right. Let's go. Confirmed. Um, sure. Splitting up a little bit. Fire in all we got him. Nice. And I really do hope that we get out of active combat again, so we can move a little faster over the battlefield. By the way, this alley here, this street, that's a nice, long, long vector to the other side of the battlefield. Also support lands. All right. Ready for orders. Can I reserve this? Reserving action. This is all reserving. All right. But I think it's better this way. Cool. Waiting for orders. So, I'm going to move now. I don't see anybody. I want them to come to me. Could go over here. Taking this route. Might be better, actually. I know I'm standing in the proximity of a generator here, of a coolant exchanger, but that's okay. Nothing is going to happen. Nobody's going to shoot that thing. So I think we can actually take that turn. Standing by. Yeah, and this is all just set up. Haul an ass. All right. ECM protected. I wonder what it's going to be, guys. Good to go. Hashtag quick mission. On my way. Double time. There's something on our sensors now. All right. It's on. I'm ready. And the Cougar. We can easily step either down here or move around to the right side. So I think it's good. And there we go. And the good news is we will rack up some resolve so we can use precision strikes later on quite nicely. Quick step in it. All right, here's the carrier. We are done. It's your turn, everybody. Huh. There's a bunch of stuff going on. So bring it! Give me your strongest mechs and tanks, because I am here to destroy all of them. Yes, Commander. Still no line of sight? What? We need them to come closer? Alright. We'll try. This reserve game is just crazy. And it's really smart from our enemies that they are following up. Because I wanted to trick them to Good move to first. It's not gonna happen, though. I'm receiving you. Standing by. I mean, you get down here, try to bait them. Let's see if that's doing something. They are using their backliners first as well. So smart. So good. Alright. Commander? Hmm. Bringing my waka. I mean, currently I'm splitting up, which is probably not the best idea in the world. I should pull my people over to the other side here. I'm gonna take, What's up, boss? We're gonna take Corsair. Understood. Also back. providing ECM. Cool. Come on, please move. You there. You are known mech. I need you to step just a little bit forward, not backwards. Come on. Uh, yep. Alright. So, that settles it. Aye, we're just gonna Full go. Speed. 
No uh, it doesn't matter. We will not have an engagement this round. Next round, maybe. We'll see. Maybe if the vehicle comes a bit closer. Then I will probably step aside. I've been sensor locked. Ready for orders. Sensor locks. So. So. So Behemoth is able to attack us. Waiting for orders. Standing by. Alright, I'm gonna do it. She's gonna act as a scout. Confirmed. We need vision on those guys. That's a freaking AC-20 carrier. That's an LRM carrier. I go precision strike on this. I need those guys to be gone. Now. Come on, tech warriors. It's go time. Yeah, that's good. At the same time, it's a clan carrier? Yeah, it's a clan carrier. So, more LRMs. But we got so many LRMs already. Alright. You gotta snub those PPC, you Royal Falcon, you. Standing by. I respect that. Cyanide, however, now has the ability to shoot something. Thanks to the scouting of Glitch. And I want that carrier. Alright, let's do it. Also getting ECM on the right flank. I will try. Oopsie! <laughs> you didn't need that building, did you? Alright, so we dodged the AC-20, but what's coming now? That's so much firepower here, guys. That is so much. Alright. Lots of... I think it's lots of tiny things here on the right side. By the way, Mr. AC-20 Carrier has 175 armor plates all around and 55 on the back. Here come the missiles. Here comes the rain. Here comes the pain. Alright. Only 5 damage. I'll take it. Not much armor left in that location. Let's go. Orders. So we get 7 evasion if we do it like this. And I think I will take it. The Kuga on the front line. Not Move. the best idea. But hey. Let's go. I will... I want to take the... Is it the AC-20 carrier? One AC-20 is gone, right? Or is it just... Yeah, it's destroyed or whatever. Giving them everything I've got. So we attack the things that we can instantly destroy. More or less. Waiting for orders. Same thing here. Not a kick attack. Alright. So in that case... I think I want the 7. Sure, we'll take it. Got it. No shooting. Just running. Oh, please don't have another sensor ping. There we go. One enemy down. Just Reporting. 9 One to go. Look. Waiting for orders. Alright, we gotta kill faster. That's a Kid Fox with 6 freaking evasion points. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Receiving you. Huh. I will wait. Give him a turn. Hope for the best. Alright. Doesn't work. Still. Roger that. Standing by. Actually. What are your orders, Skipper? Let me think real quick. When I move over here, what's my hit chance on this? It will not destroy the AC-20 carrier, right? However, I can ignore some ev No, I don't have ev evasion ignore with Artemis. I have higher accuracy. Ugh. Alright. So, my weapons don't have any impact here. We have to try to bait them out again. Waiting for the shot. Somehow. Commander. So, we take the least impactful dude, which is Roger. the Hunchback Hold right me. now. <laughs> we try to hit the Kid Fox. Pew pew. Firing. We actually did. I'm impressed. I'm not shooting my autocannon because I don't want to jam it or don't want to run into recoil problems. I think I want this gun ready when there is a meaningful, a meaningful target in front of us. Sleipnir? Not really dangerous. This is our whole defense, guys. This is our whole life insurance. If that goes away, we have a problem. Uh, sure. Get in there. 
What about a precision strike? We might be able to rip off the arm. There's an active probe and the Guardian ECM in there. I will try it. Let's take it. We can do this! Let's go! We hit him again? Wait, what? Wow! This time the Santa Torso. I think this guy just bought itself a ticket to Valhalla. Because now we're gonna go all in. Problem is the AMS. Our missiles won't have that big of an impact, I think. Who shot me there? Reporting major armor loss. Was some guy with a double PPC setup. Mmm. At our prime. Sure. We'll attack. I, I will also go precision strike on this guy. Let's see what it does. Let's get fired up. There, what to do? AM is down, ECM down. Sight also down. Pilot bleeding out. You inflicted some nasty on that something. That's good. That's helpful. I'm not sure about my pincer move here. <laughs> Those guys are under heavy pressure. And again, there's that AC-20 carrier that might just kill Locust. Alright, fair. Damage is light. ATM's ignoring a bit of evasion. I'm here. Oh yeah, right, I got my carrier. Hey, look at that. Got it. Here Both we go. Three no percent hit chance. I'm gonna make a precision strike happen. Let's go for it. And this is not acid, this is all normal ammo. Let's do it! We can do this. Let's go. We got the kid fox! Yay! It only took us four max! Enemy eliminated! Hey, it's an enemy down. And it's one ECM down. That's perfect. Can we cut across here? Is that possible? Like here? If we don't get a good target this round, or next round, basically, we probably just want to destroy the building so we provide line of sight. There it comes. Oh, they are doing it for me? Thank you. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. That's good. So we can use the trap, we can use the hunchback to attack the carrier, and then these guys are gonna probably go over here to the Oro. Ooh. All right. Great. Next round. Oh, the slave near, of course. So, this is gonna be a very interesting one. I think I need to take two yes, enemies out of the fight, like right now. How do we do this? It's a lot of armor. Ah, oh, man. What if we sprint into a flanking position? Trying to get out of here. I want to sprint for seven, ideally. Seven evasion, that is. But I also want to be able to shoot reliably. So, it's not cyanide, not now. He has seven evasion right now, so I'm gonna keep him there until the battlefield has shifted a bit and I might get a better, a better angle. No, keeping up my evasion by also having a good angle on my enemies. Currently, he is a pretty hot guy. This might be bad. Alright, good. Yeah, currently he's pretty hot, so I don't think that it's really important to go super alpha strike. I'm gonna make compromises defensive-wise, because I cannot go all in. Another attempt? Uh-oh. But actually, this is good. This is really good. They are wasting their turns on me. I would have laughed so hard if they got a stray shot on the Jenner. But that didn't happen. Alright. They still have a Locust. They still have a Thorn. No, a Falcon. Plus... The Carrier needs to go. This round. Oh, interesting. This is actually good. As soon as they're splitting up, I have the ability to soak up more damage overall. That's great. Maybe they realize that they cannot really hit my Cicada. They're going for a guy that has six instead of seven evasion. Falcon is... That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love that. Nice stray shot. Yes, 
Commander. That changes a lot of things here. What about that thing? I don't know, but I think getting that six evasion and then shooting backwards might be a thing. Oh, it's a cicada. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, Orders? I wanted to check cyanide here. This is six and... Okay. I'll take it. Let's go. We will attack the slave near. It's not the most important target, I know, but still. Roger that. Gotta take it down at some point. Receiving you. So, a behemoth wants to go and kick this guy. It's not gonna be optimal. Aye, aye. Since we only got like one evasion now, that means we we have to kill quickly this round. We have to get some things off the battlefield. Yeah, that was a good follow-up, but is it gonna be enough? What? That shot got past my armor. Oh no! That was a stray shot against my cougar. Oh my god, my heavy laser! No! Waiting for orders. I don't wanna lose it. Uh-huh. Alright, let's go. We gotta take that carry out now. Oh my god. Here we go. It's a kill. Alright. And we destroyed a building, which is good for us, That's because we have now kill. more opportunities to go for good targets. Jenner is destabilized. Adder is destabilized. Arm is holding. That's good. <gasps> I don't want to lose anything. No kick available. Hmm. I mean, I want to be in that fight. That's for sure. I don't like the adder. Good to go. The adder brings PPCs. I can shoot the Jenner in the back, I know, but the Jenner has nothing. One LRM5, who cares? This guy is scary as hell. So here's what we do. On the move. Full speed. I bring my Hanshi first because he has the big impact weapon. I'm gonna go precision strike against that guy and shoot everything. Come on, tech warriors! It's go time! Uh, alright. Not what I wanted. But okay, I'll take the kill on the Locust. Did we headshot him? We might have. Uh, yep. Alright. Roger, Are we gonna drop some missiles on that guy? Oh god. This is so risky what I'm doing here. Yeah, we softened them up, but not enough. The sight also is still intact. Alright. Now the tank. Ooh, nice hit. Gotta give him that. Next round. No, it's not next round. I still got my freaking carrier! Yeah! Let's go! Let's do it, guys. It's the last three, or last two, that I'm shooting with regular ammo. Got him! It's the only target that I really had here. It's fine. I love it. The cool thing is, even if you don't sandblast the enemies to pieces, you still have a narc launcher that you attach to your enemies and that helps your friends following up with the damage. Come on, I need Lich. I need Lich now. Oh, she's turn seven. Okay. I'm receiving you. Who's turn eight? Nobody. Means we gotta kill the adder now. Which is fine, we can do it. I need to make a twist like that, showing my right side more than my left side. Um, yeah, let's go, Battlelord. Let's make some damage happen here. Primitive. Could we kill? We could. Perfect. With that, we have now initiative in turn 7, which means Glitch is going to be able to move around. Oh, no, it's Behemoth, not Glitch. Uh, Behemoth is able to move around again and generate more evasion. That's pretty good. 
do, where do I want to go? This is... Nah, this is a charge attack. I don't want to go charge attack right now. I will go vigilance. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. Kick into the back. On my way. This is looking very good now. Now that the big guns are off the board, mostly. I mean, we still have some PPCs here, but still, it's good enough. Perfect. One more for the trashy. Epona, that's the problem. But I'm happy to have five evasion and bulwark. More than one evasion and nothing. Alright, 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 alright. I think we got it in the bug. I will hit the Oro, or at the very least I will try. Because that thing still comes with a pulse laser that might destroy on, armor. Maybe even a mech. Maybe a component, a weapon system or so. Ready to rock. Now that's a charge. Don't want to go charge right now. Uh, he's damaged on his right side. I cannot reasonably get to a right side attack. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to move point blank. Like here. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can destroy that guy now. Also want to... Go for a precision strike. Come on! Got him! Denied him the turn. Nice. Waiting for orders. It's pretty clear what we're doing here, right? Got it. Saying hi and attacking the building. 100% attack the building. Yeah, let's do it like that. I was debating whether or not I should shoot the mech and hope that the building is getting uh, destroyed by random uh, stray shots. But then I realized, you know what? We got this here. And we are very precise with this shot. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Not destroyed. But knocked down. And thanks to the pushback and the knockdown, he's now turn what, six next round? Yeah. Alrighty. Yes, next round. Let's get Epona down. Kick him. Epona is very lightly armored, so I I should kill it in one go. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, at the very least, it's turn six, so we have some follow-up. Um, and I think I'm gonna use my heavy lasers for it. No shooting. Also Just with a precision it. strike. And at that point, we are going all in. Let's get fired up. Got him, There's perfect. To do. That was really good. There's one for the scrap heap. That means that the other guy can't stand up again, but I don't think he's gonna do much, right? Still has a snub, but an injury and, and broken legs and everything, so. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alrighty! Looking good, everybody. Good to go. You know what? I'm gonna give Corsair the shot here. I'm gonna kick and shoot everything. Affirmative. Come on, buddy. It's nice that you get a kill confirmed. Solid connection on that one. There we go. That's what I love an Ultra Auto Cannon uh, 10 or 20 on a melee mech because you can just do that. Punch them, destabilize, and then boom, boom, coming out uh, from the shoulder. Mission successful. Yeah, that's good. I love it. Salvage time. Let's get these sweet, sweet little clan items. We only get two picks, but nine total, so it should be okay. I think I want more add-up parts. Adders are very valuable. They might give us some extra... extra weapon systems and equipment. It's one Adder Prime. Saladin, no. I don't know about that. Let me think about it. It's two ER PPCs. It's more large poles. It's more LRM20s, sure. We got Streak 6s. Active probes. What about these things? Being able to have breaching shot online. 
more Guardian ECM. Omnis. Targeting computer missile evasion double plus. Provides plus two evasion pips ignored. Yes, please. Thank you. Well, that's insane. Is there... Wait a second. Does that uh, take the same slot as Artemis? But anyway, that sounds amazing. Uh, I'm also looking for... The ATM ammo, but it's gone. We have Swarm ammo. We have more damage. 25% more damage. Uh-huh. I interpret firing missiles that will search for any targets, including friendlies? In 120 meters around the target. But they deal more damage. I hope that we get it randomly. I want to check it out, but I don't want to pick it. I think we have more valuable things to do here. Huh. We also need money. Maybe a fusion core gives us something. Or maybe a Gauss rifle or something. No, it's not a Gauss rifle or anything. It's If it's anything, then it's an adder part. Because that brings a lot of value here. We'll do it. Cool. We got a part of a Falcon, a Saladin, ATM-3, Artemis, Pharaoh, Omni, and extended range ATM ammo. Alrighty, guys. So, I would say that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also support me on Patreon if you have a bit of spare money. Link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.